Hello again, it's Monster Forge with <clears throat> another toy review video. Uh, this time, um, something I found at Ollie's. If you don't have an Ollie's store near you, um, you need one. Ollie's has the logo Good Stuff Cheap. It's kind of like a, you know what Big Lots is? It's like a closeout store where they, they buy stuff from uh, retailers, manufacturers and all that have gone out of business or just trying to move product and they sell it you know at a discount and big lots back in the day was more like ollie's is now or ollie's now is more like big lots back in the day anyway it was good prices on really good stuff like some quality stuff and their toy department is outstanding um i oftentimes find stuff there um, you know, half the price or less of stuff, and some of it's still sitting in the store at, you know, like Walmart and Target and all, at, at full price. But anyway, um, this time I'm reviewing the Avengers Beyond Earth's Mightiest, whatever that means. Anyway, it's the Captain Marvel versus Doctor Doom, uh, set it's a two-pack marvel legends figures marvel legends is a one twelfth scale uh six inch roughly figures and um this particular set based on the characters in here their appearance in the secret wars the 1985 i think 1985 i think yeah um comic book the it was the first maxi series i think which is you know mini series usually ran like four or five six issues if i'm not mistaken secret wars went for like 12 it was this huge epic story and dr doom was one of the main characters in it and i i want to say that that was the first appearance no no i started to say it was the first appearance of captain marvel in this outfit um she might have appeared before that uh in this outfit but i know she was featured in the story um maybe i it's been so long since i I read secret wars i'm not really sure but i know for a fact that this dr doom is based on the secret wars and really dr doom is the reason why i bought this set but this set it retailed for like i want to say it was like 40 bucks for the set um which you know marvel legends figures now are like 25 dollars a piece so that's not the worst price for a set um but you get two Marvel Legends figures in it, um, Captain Marvel. And, and and people that aren't familiar with this particular version of Captain Marvel are, are saying, you know, this doesn't look like Captain Marvel from the movie. Well, there have been different Captain Marvels over the years. The original Captain Marvel, well, we can go back even farther than Marvel's Captain Marvel, was Shazam. You know, the Billy Batson turned into the, the superhero that had the... Um, had the powers of uh, the most wise and strong beings in history, but you know, you know him, the the, the guy that wears the red suit, it's like a red suited Superman type. He's anyway, uh, the Marvel Captain Marvel started off. He was a Kree soldier um, who came to Earth and turned good and fought the Kree who were trying to invade Earth, um, and then you had. Um, Carol Danvers, is that the right name? I think so, Carol Danvers, yeah, um, and she became Captain Marvel, and then this Captain Marvel was Monica Rambeau, and, um, she was a real cool character, she, she had, I want to say it was like light-based powers or something like that, I don't, I don't know if she had the, the actual Captain America, uh, Captain Marvel powers or not, but they called her Captain Marvel, and there was a lot of confusion when she first popped up in the scene. A lot of the heroes are like, you're not Captain Marvel, we all know. But anyway, um, I guess they had to say that twice. But anyway, uh, she's a cool character. Uh, it's a cool toy, really beautiful toy. But she isn't the reason I bought the set. The reason I bought the set was, well, I'll get to him in a minute. First of all, we'll take a look at Captain Marvel. And here she is. And it's, like I said, it's a really nice action figure. Um, one of her, uh, one of the aspects, and you can see, uh, they don't really show it all that well on the package. Um, 
Yeah, I don't have any really good pictures of her, like, full body and all, but she had these sleeves to her outfit. It was like a cape type thing, kind of like, um, I think Storm had an outfit kind of like that with the, the sweeping cape thing that went to her sleeves. But the way they designed it was really cool. So you can, you can, um, like, I think they're supposed to go on the inside like this, but, um, I say do whatever you want to. I like, you know, if you're looking at the figure f from this angle, um, it looks better to have the, the folds behind it. Now, if you're looking at it from this angle, I would say, you know, definitely put it like that. Like if you wanted to have one of her arms draped out in front, um, that would look better. And the other one, you know, posed with it on the outside. But either way, it's a really cool way that they could get her sleeves to work on her outfit. And she's a very elegant figure. The white and the black, um, the contrast is really cool. Um, it's a beautiful body sculpt. Like, I, I, was, I was looking at it earlier, and it's like the abs and all are really good. It's got, like, the, the little uh, tummy part there is nice. She's um, just a beautiful sculpt. Yep. Um... It's a nice figure, and the facial sculpt is is really she's beautiful. Um, there you go. She's got her uh, her afro looks really good. Looks just like the character in the comic books. Um, I love the mask, the way they did it. Her lips, the cheekbones, her eyes. Are her eyes blue? I never noticed. Were her eyes blue in the comic? I didn't know they were brown in the comic, but they have. It looks like it has a blue tint to her eyes. I don't know if that's the case. That's that's strange, but you know, it could just be the light playing tricks on me. Um, it has the Tampa Graph star, and and it carries through so that when you move the the ab crunch, it it stands. It kind of breaks up when you move it, but just leaning it back like that, it's good. Um, nice hands, the nice expressive hands. They've probably been all the, the whole body's probably from another figure i'm not that much of a marvel legends collector that i know where it came from but um it's probably from another female character she doesn't have drop down hips like the the gi joe classified figures but you can get a pretty good range on the hips um she's got really cool boots uh because one of the cool things about the captain marvel this version of captain marvel where the way the boots had the 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 cuff on them that hung down it's really nice it's a nice design beautiful figure um uh, articulation uh the head it's a ball joint with uh the the little pin and disc so she can look way down she can look sort of up uh she can get a little bit of side to side uh, of course it swivels around um the pin and disc which these are, what's nice is you're not getting the holes anymore. So it's injection molded. Um, nice range. No butterfly, but I mean, she can get a wide range so she can do some flying poses. Um, she doesn't have a bicep swivel up here, but this joint at the elbow, once again, injection molded. Um, and it has a pretty good range. You, you'll have some problems you know, with this running into the thing, but all you got to do is just kind of set it on which side. But it's pretty expressive. Um, the arms, of course, the hands are, it has the, the it has a swivel at the wrist and the, the pin and disc joint like this. Um, the ab crunch, it's got nice side to side. It goes forward a little bit, but it goes back a good bit more. Um, the hips have good range. Um, not quite as much out as some of them get. Um, but she kicks up pretty good. Mm, not so much back. She has a swivel at the thigh. Double hinge on the knees. I haven't figured out whether this is a cut joint. I, I can't get either one to turn. And it looks like in the pictures it's at the same angle. So I don't think this is a boot cut joint here, but she has the the uh, the P 
pin and disc here for up and down with the boots and um, a kind of clicky ratcheted type uh, rocker on the foot. So all in all, a really nice figure. Um, she's kind of hard to stand. Oh, look at that. She just made a complete liar out of me. Um, that's the easiest I've had this figure to stand yet. Um, you'll probably... Oh, and she doesn't have... <sighs> I hate it when they have figures that don't have the holes. I mean, I guess they couldn't because she's so, she's so slight to make her fit uh, a figure stand. I mean, I, I want to say... I mean, they could do it. But anyway, um, you know, it, she's... I'm getting her to stand now. She wasn't doing it before, but anyway... That's Captain Marvel. Um, oh, yeah. Um, she also has um, alternate fists there, which have the same uh, type of motion. She, she has um, she has two fists and two open hands with displayed out fingers. Um, so you have... You have options with that. Um, yeah, so that's nice. Once again, that's uh, in a two-pack for $20. That's a $10 figure. That's really good. Um, well worth the price of admission. And like I said, for me personally, I mean, Monica Rambo might be one of your favorite characters. She's not mine. I don't have anything as a character. It's just this is why I got it. It's Doctor Doom, and he is a nice Doctor Doom. I didn't have... I think I only had like two, the, the the original Secret Wars toy line from all right Monica just lay down over there. Um the original Secret Wars was uh kind of supported by a Marvel uh by a Mattel toy line for Secret Wars and I only had two of the figures from that line. I had Captain America and I had Doctor Doom. Which, I mean, that was kind of like the main characters for the thing. Doctor Doom being the main villain and um, Captain America being the main good guy for that. Because it was a, a, an Avengers-heavy story. But it had members of Fantastic Four involved. There were some X-Men. There was, um, um, you know, Avengers. Spider-Man was involved in there. That's where Spider-Man got his black suit first time. And really the first appearance of Venom. <laughs> the symbiote part of Venom. But anyway, this is the um, the Marvel Legends version of the Doctor Doom that was in Secret Wars. And um, um, the story went like the Beyonder, who's a, this really super powerful being, pulled the heroes and villains from uh, the Marvel Universe out of the Marvel, uh, off of Earth and put them on this, this battle world where it was like a, it was culled together from different planets or different environments, and he pitted the heroes against the villains to see who was better or who was worthy of living or something like that. Like I said, it's been a long time since I read Secret Wars. But um, I always thought this was a really cool version of Doctor Doom. And you can see, well, that's the, the, the picture. The picture here of him is from when he appears i think for the first time in that new costume but you can see on the front of the box it's the picture of the cover where he got his outfit like he got blasted pretty good i think i think i want to say by the beyonder i can't remember um but his costume his original outfit got messed up and so um the beyonder had like technology that they were using to basically alter their costumes or get new costumes and all when they got damaged and dr doom basically repaired himself and his costume and everything and this was the version that we got and um mattel put out the figures uh from from this series and the doctor doom i always thought was a really sweet looking figure um if you look up mattel um secret wars doctor doom figure you'll see what i'm talking about and he was really cool it was the design was a little bit different than the actual comic book like um the the body didn't have a belt and it had um instead of having this sort of h shape in the chest it was like 
I think it was like six panels with circuitry that were tampa graphed on. But he had the same, you know, like no cape and um just really cool looking. Um and the 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 Mattel figure had a green band on his leg where this one has a, a silver one. And in the comic book it was a silver band on his leg. Um not really sure what the band was for other than just a stylistic choice, but looks cool. Um now the Doctor Doom in this set, it's clear that this was the focus of this set because it's it's a new sculpt. Um I think all around the new sculpt. I'm I'm not sure if any of these parts have appeared before, but he's such a sweet looking Doctor Doom. Um I love the the metallic green here. It's that marbled metallic and it just looks so premium. Really nice job. Um and the 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 they did the same that sort of swirly metallic silver for the limbs and it, it really it kind of captures that mike zek artwork and mike zek was the artist who did the artwork in secret wars and it kind of it catches that it captures that sleek especially like mike zek had a certain way he did the feet and all and and the feet on dr doom look a lot like that um really nice they did like panel lining on the well, on the front, <laughs> they did panel lining on the front of the Doctor Doom figure. It was like a wash, sort of, and they didn't do the back. So that's a little bit of a flaw. Not that big a deal. You could take a, you could probably take a, a paint pen or just probably just a marker and put it in there if you wanted to. Or you can take paint, which is what I'll probably do um, for the backs. Got the details. And these, these follow details in the, the comic book really well, too. Um, the cowl is nice. Um, I like that it's a different color green because it's fabric as opposed to armor. I mean, this is not fabric, but it's supposed to represent fabric. Um, but that's really nice. But um, as far as articulation goes, um, he's got the pin and disc in the neck, which is kind of limited by the, the cowl. But um, he can turn a little bit in there and he can swivel all the way around looks down really well um he's got an ab crunch that's you know like most of these it's really nice to the back but the for, for front is a little bit limited um he has a swivel at the waist um he has sort of clicky um swivel at the shoulder um he has a pin and disc joint here he has a swivel at the upper bicep he has double jointed elbows. Um, it doesn't turn at the glove, but it turns at the wrist and has the, the pin and disc um, joint there. Um, the hips. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm so used to the... I, I, I've been collecting a lot of the G.I. Joe Classified, and I'm used to the drop-down hips so you can get a better range, but Marvel Legends doesn't do that. But the, the figure's really sturdy. Like, there's no looseness on this guy. He's real tight. Um... But it has, you know, it can kick forward and kick back. Not much. Like, it's kind of, it hits that, the butt plate. Um, it goes out, you know, about standard Marvel Legends. Um, it has a, a rotation at the, the thigh. Double jointed knees. And this one does have a boot cut. So it, it, it swivels there. And the toe has a nice range. Like, you can get some really good poses out of him with that, you know. Like, um, have the feet, and it has a, the rocker as well. So you can, you can get a lot of really good poses out of this guy. Um, and he holds poses really well. Um, I, I've noticed that, like the way the feet are made, he can, he can hold some pretty wide poses, um, Kind of doing the Mr. Universe thing, not really, but um, he he comes with accessories, which are really nice accessories. Um, one of the things that uh, Doctor Doom about this series, you know, Doctor Doom always had a scarred up face because of the accent that he had before he became officially Doctor Doom. 
His name was Victor Von Doom, but he was a student at, uh, I think it was NYU, or I, I can't remember which college it was in, in New York with um, Reed Richards, and he was doing some kind of experiment, or they did a co-experiment together, and the thing blew up and kind of minorly scarred his face, but he was so vain that um, he couldn't, he couldn't handle, he thought he had been horribly scarred and deformed, so he covered his face with a mask, and the story goes that he was so impatient to get the mask that he got it straight from, and he found these monks up in um, the Himalayas or something like that, and um, <clears throat> they kind of started worshiping him because he's just awesome, but um, they they forged the mask and he put it on his face and it burned his face up and horribly disfigured him, uh, even more so than the little scar he got from the explosion, but the cool thing about when he went to Battle World, he was um, he was able to repair his face with the Beyonders technology. So it comes with the hood rolled back and Alpha Chad Doctor Doom face. Um, and I love it. Like he's got the best scowl. It looks like he. It's like he's either angry or somebody in the room farted and he had to, ugh, you know. But really good expression. The sculpt is really nice. Um, the eyes are really well done. Uh, the hair is great. He looks just like he did in the um, in the Secret Wars comic book. Uh, and what's really cool is um, another accessory he comes with is... Uh, if I can get him to hold it right, the mask. So he comes with the Doctor Doom mask, and the Doctor Doom mask, it's a it's a really good sculpt. I don't know if this has come with any Marvel Legends figures before, but I mean it's 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 perfect. Uh, there you go, it's perfect. And what's really nice is when you turn it around. The inside of it's sculpted with circuitry and everything, and you can even see like the little web that's on the inside of Doctor Doctor Doom's mouth. So it's it's a really nice accessory. Um, he can't really <laughs> he can't really wear it. Well, no, he can't really wear it. It's just sort of like a sort of like an extra accessory for him to hold. Although he doesn't, the figure doesn't really hold it all that well. Um, I'm sure. I'm sure with a little bit of work, I could get it to balance like he's holding it. But very nice, and um, he comes with the he comes with two fists and two sort of expressive hands. Maybe that hand holds the mask, or it can hold the mask. Yeah, not really, but yeah, he's got like the the expressive uh, hand um, but really cool and um, seeing how these guys scale with other figures um, that's, that's not Doom's face Just, this is Doom's face like that's when we think of Doctor Doom we think of that face so um, kind of Oh, oh, come on, Doc. Stand up. You've had too much to drink. It's a Latvian ale. God, I was having no problem standing him a minute ago. Anyway, um, there's the Doc and um, Madame Rambo. There you go. They're, they're actually standing. Miraculous. Um, but, you know, um, comparing them to Marvel Legends figures... Um, I have, hold on, getting him a little straight here, um, Spider-Man, for comparison, he's a little dusty because he's been sitting on my shelf, um, scales real well because Doctor Doom is, I always imagine he'd be a, a pretty tall guy and Peter Parker's a really short guy, um, and to be fair to Monica, you know, that's, that's about right, right there. So, Spidey's a little short dude. Um, uh, sorry, Monica. 
get to sit this one out because Dr. Doom is the main dude. Um, Snake Eyes with Dr. Doom and uh, Black Series, which G.I. Joe classified Snake Eyes, and uh, Black Series Stormtrooper. So you can see how they um, how they scale together with him. That seems like a, a really scary team up right there. Well, except for the Stormtrooper, you wouldn't be able to hit anybody. But um, uh, that's, you know, pretty much it. Um, not a bad set at all for $20. It was $19.99 at Ollie's. Um, if you have an Ollie's near you, hit it. See if, um, see if you can find any of these guys. They also, uh, supposedly, they have the, the Joe Fix-It figure that's by himself. Um, I think there was a Joe fix it that one of them came with a Wolverine, but I don't, I don't think that set is at, um, Ollie's. I think it's just the individual Joe fix it, the, the Hulk, Joe fix it, Hulk, the gray Hulk. Um, they had several new Marvel Legends figures that just popped up at Ollie's for like $10 a piece. And considering Marvel Legends figures now are like, 19 to 25 dollars a piece on the regular that's a fantastic deal um and i i've been picking them up there you know when it's a figure i wanted but anyway marvel legends two packs that are normally 40 dollars or more at ollie's right now for 20 dollars. so good luck hunting and have a good one monster forge out